It's the last 10 pounds that stick to you in those annoying places and won't go away, even though you've been eating right and exercising. But then you reach a point where you can't get rid of it. When it's time to lose the last 10 pounds, it doesn't matter if you're doing keto, intermittent fasting, paleo, or if you're a vegan. These rules will still apply, and it has less to do with anything else than with being right. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In response to your commonly asked questions, in this video, we will be sharing with you several things to lose 10 pounds in a month. For amazing videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. So, let's get started. Why is it possible to lose 10 pounds in a month? According to the American Obesity Association, if you can successfully cut a thousand calories every day, you will lose two pounds a week. This means that you only need to cut 8,000 calories every week to lose 10 pounds a month. This weight loss goal can be met by strict dieting alone or by combining moderate dieting with a daily exercise program. Any weight loss plan requires commitment and sacrifice, and you won't reach your goal if you don't stick to your plan. If you stick to the right plan, you should start to see results within a month. But now, let's skip the boring stuff and get to the fun stuff. First of all, we need to talk about what we're going to do to stop doing what you're doing. Now, even if what you're doing right now is good, you need to stop and do this. Your leptin needs to be reset in some way. Now, this sounds pretty ordinary, and some of you might turn off the video because, well, you've probably heard this before, right? Leptin is something that tells your brain what weight to maintain. Fat cells make it and send a message to your brain saying, Hey brain, we have enough fat so we can speed up the metabolism. So, if you are overweight or have a lot of fat, it is usually easier to lose weight at first because you have more leptin, which tells your brain to speed up the metabolism. But as you lose weight, your body makes less leptin, and that leptin can't really call the brain anymore. So the brain says, wait a minute, leptin isn't talking to me, so I'm going to slow down and keep some of this body fat. Which is probably where you are, too. So, first of all, we need to make our leptin go up. This isn't a trick, it's just to get us back to the beginning. This is called spiking your leptin. And, as much as I hate to say it, leptin responds better to carbs according to new research. So, whether you're keto fasting or doing something else, you should eat a meal with a lot of healthy carbs and a very little fat. Lower fat means lower glycemic. So, lower glycemic means things like lentil pasta, chickpeas, beans, and other similar foods. It's one or two meals, not a ton, and you need to get the carbs up pretty high. I'm talking about a couple hundred grams to make the leptin level go up and get your brain talking to your fat cells again. Now, this isn't the point of the video. It's just to give you a place to start. Right now, this is your restart. You're starting over with your diet. You had your leptin spike or cheat meal, if that's what you want to call it. But the truth is that it puts you back at square one. Now comes the part where we move on start over from scratch, and treat the last 10 pounds as something completely different. Because the body's metabolism is in a very different state. What we want you to do is choose a diet plan, like keto fasting or something else, and only do that. It has to be different from what you were doing before, so start by lifting weights without doing cardio. Move more throughout the day. Do this for five or six days a week, and then add a set amount of cardio and HIIT training. Again, not in this vague, unclear world, but add a strategic amount of cardio with maybe 20 minute segments two to three times a week, you name it. All you need to know is that it needs to be scheduled. Then, when you start to lose weight from that, you add a fat burning supplement like quarantine or drink some weight loss drinks. See my video on top liquid diets for weight loss, links in the description. 
Skip all the ketchup, mayo, maple syrup, and all the condiments. Try herbs and natural spices to season your food and stop drinking all those sodas, canned juices, and extra caffeine. If you don't need to get down to business and lose those last 10 pounds to get the body you want for summer, to get on stage, or to be ready to wear a bikini or swimsuit, all you have to do is get back for being specific and data-driven. And you have to start from the beginning, so if you eat clean carbs and leptin goes up, you're born again. Forget everything you used to know, and forget everything you know about weight loss. You can do keto fasting, but cut the fats by 25%. Then, you shouldn't do any cardio or exercise for at least a week. Then, just add the weight training workouts. One week later, add cardio, and we guarantee you, you'll see results because you're getting into a routine. Try to follow the old saying, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dinner like a pauper. This is always important when trying to lose weight. Eat a gigantic breakfast, smaller lunch, and a very small dinner. Breakfast is always the most important meal of the day. Try not to skip it, as it provides the energy for your whole day. Buy a smaller plate or bowl to control your food portion throughout the day. Lastly, and this is something you probably never thought you'd hear, log your food and get into a routine. Because if you're not logging your food and not eating in between meals, you'll never lose the last 10 pounds. So write down everything you eat, your breakfast, your snack in between breakfast and lunch, your lunch, your snack in the evening, and your dinner. Again, you just need to stop snacking after 7.30 p.m. and try to make a gap at at least three hours between dinner and sleep. This gives your stomach enough time to digest your food before you lie in bed and stop gaining belly fat. Let the insulin level drop. Between meals, let the glucagon come up and burn that fat. That will shake off the last few pounds. We noticed that the question was simple, but it was asked a lot. So now you know what you need to do. Aside from these, practice getting enough sleep at night, at least seven hours. Add more fiber to your meal plans and eat slowly. In a recent study, it was found that eating slowly decreased your food intake by 10% and results in fullness quickly and eating more vegetable and salads throughout the day. These are just some simple and healthy ways to lose 10 pounds of weight in a month when you need it. You can lose weight safely and keep it off for good if you take it one step at a time and make a few small changes each week. With a little patience and hard work, you can lose weight and improve your health at the same time. That's all for today. Please comment to us if you have some more good ideas to lose weight. We hope to see you in our next videos. Until then, goodbye and take care.